Nepal seems to be sending mixed signals to India after Prime Minister Ali's controversial remarks on Lord Ram. While the foreign ministry sought to cool temperatures, Nepal's top diplomat did exactly the opposite. A day after the Prime Minister's much-criticized speech, Nepal's foreign ministry sprung into action and issued a clarification. The foreign ministry said that the remarks were not intended at hurting anyone's sentiments. In India, this clarification was interpreted as damage control by the Nepalese government. The foreign ministry said that the Prime Minister was not trying to debase the significance of Ayodhya, but that's exactly what Nepal's foreign minister did. Nearly hours after the statement was released, the foreign minister, Pradeep Gayawali, has said that there is no concrete proof of correspondence between current Indian cities and sites mentioned in the Ramayana. He also said that present beliefs could be reversed by future studies. archaeological <laughs> रत्तला पुष्टि करने गरी अमित सिंह पर्याप्त देरी करा रहे हैं ये देरी करा रहे हैं हमरा परंपरागत विश्वास में थी हमरा आस्था रूप में थी हम हमले ए बंदे आए का सों चिता जनकपुर में जन्मीं उनको विवाह सही रामसंग भाइयों या देवमा भाइयों बलि और दिल ले आरको कोनी पुष्टि करे बनी तो देरी करा रहे हैं स the Foreign Minister of Nepal has effectively rejected the belief that Lord Ram was born in what is now India. He said that the Ramayana has yet to be given a sound cultural geography, making a comparison with Buddha. Gayawali has said that there is no written evidence in the case of Lord Ram. बनने बारे में सही सालफल और दुबई देश में चली नहीं रहे कासन इसको कल्चरल ज्योग्राफी फाइनल करने को राजस्थो बुद्ध को पालन समय पुगदा हम इसमें लिखित पनी र अन्य कुराले अन्य एविडेंस ले पुष्टि करने हम इसमें आधार हो रहे Prime Minister Ali's comments have been dismissed as nonsense by some of the senior most leaders in Nepal. Former Nepal Prime Minister Baburam Bhattarai has said that Ali was pushing the limits with India and former deputy PM Kamal